हेलो एवरीबॉडी आ वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरीबॉडी माय नेम इज अंकित शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ऑन पजल्स पार्ट वन टाइम इन अगेन यू ऑल वर रिपीटिंग दैट सर प्लीज सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस ऑफ सीटिंग अरेंजमेंट सर प्लीज डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑफ पजल्स एंड आई एग्रीड इट वॉज देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ एग्रींग टू इट इट वॉज ऑलरेडी प्लान सो यस्टे we had a 2 hour rigorous session on seating arrangement yesterday from 1 pm to 3 pm we solved rigorous questions of seating arrangement where we solved questions of circular seating arrangement linear seating arrangement linear seating arrangement dual row double row basically we also solved hexagon form of seating arrangement we solved all of them today moving ahead we will be solving questions of puzzles puzzles part 1 will be done today Obviously, then puzzles part two will be done tomorrow. Okay, my dear students. So I hope all of you are super ready for the puzzles part one. And believe me, I have picked up all best questions which are possible for your exam. All the best questions, my dear students. If you all are aware about the weightage of this topic, the weightage of this topic in your exam is up to five questions. So now, what do we mean by up to five? Up to five means that the upper limit, the upper ceiling is five. So up to five means zero, one, two, three, four, or five. Up to five means zero, one, two, three, four, or five. All right, everybody. Yes or no? Now moving ahead. Now moving ahead, my dear students. Please have a look at this. The thought of the day. The thought of the day is: if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. I repeat: if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And if you change nothing. nothing will change all right everybody so i repeat if it doesn't challenge you it doesn't change you and if you change nothing nothing will change all right everybody so please understand only change is constant new things are a law of nature okay so move with the flow not against the flow and now with these words i think we should start with the discussion i hope all of you are ready fine everybody i hope all of you are ready now moving ahead this is the very first question very first question for this i will be giving you 1 minute and time starts now quickly everyone so kailash very good keep it up see these questions do not be afraid by the length of the question that's the silliest thing that anyone can do it's a silly thing don't go by the length of the question see what is being asked see what is required see you can solve this question verbally also i will tell you how no need of even pen or paper in at least in at least this particular question you want to see that see so dan has been in delhi for the past 2 weeks to visit his friends he is leaving tomorrow and his flight is from the igi airport most of his friends live near the igi airport the distance of the residing place of sam prakash and summer from the airport so suppose this is the airport and the distance of the residing place of sam okay then prakash okay and summer and summer from the airport is 10 miles 5 miles and 7 miles respectively is 10 miles 5 miles and 7 miles respectively so distance of the residing places of sam prakash and summer is 10 5 and 7 miles respectively now distance of residing place of allen from the airport distance of residing place of allen from the airport is greater than that of prakash greater than that of prakash means greater than 5 and less than that of summer less than that of summer means less than 7 okay and this person dan is currently residing with allen this person dan is currently residing with allen so 
So what will be the distance traveled by this person? Okay. What will be the distance traveled by this person while going to the airport? So while going to the airport, the distance is how much? More than 5, less than 7. More than 5, less than 7. So it can be in decimals also, 5 point something or uh, 6 point something. But here, such an option is not available. 6 mile is available. So as per the options, we will go by option number B6. Even the question was asking that which of the following? Following means the ones which are given. Alright everybody? Fine? Yes? Okay. Now moving ahead. Now moving ahead guys. The second question. Time starts. Go ahead. <coughs> Very good, Kalash, very good. Now, please try this. Come on guys, now this is the next question of a cricket match okay and I hope that many of you are very much aware about the cricketing rules nothing of rules are required over here but I hope it's India where cricket is like a festival okay now have a look at this in a cricket match Rohit scored 16 runs on 6 balls so ball number one, ball number two, ball three, ball four, ball five and ball six. So in a cricket match, Rohit scored 16 runs on six balls. Okay, 16 runs on six balls with a different score on each ball. So different score on each ball. Now, the maximum runs were scored on the third ball. Maximum runs on the third ball means it was a six. Okay, okay now. Let us see. Now you can say that sir, why 6 sir, why it cannot be 4? Because different runs were scored on each ball. Okay? Alright everybody? Now. Now it is telling you the maximum runs were scored on the third ball and the minimum runs were scored on the first ball. Minimum runs on the first ball means 0 run or 1 run. 0 run or 1 run. Okay? Now 4 runs were scored on third ball after the one in which 2 runs were scored. Now 2 runs. One ball after that, two ball after that, and four runs. So now, <coughs> four runs were scored on the third ball. On the first, second, and third ball. Four runs were scored on the third ball. First, second, and third ball after the one on which two runs were scored. It is also known that the ball... Now see, if, if you use this, if you use this, if you cannot put two runs over here, if you put two runs over here, where will you put four runs? Two runs, where will you be four runs? It's not possible. So two runs over here, 1 and 2, now 4 runs. 2 runs over here, 1 and 2, now 4 runs. I hope it is very, very clear. Now, it is also known that, it is also known that the ball on which one run was scored was neither the first nor the last. The ball on which the first run was scored, see it, I repeat, it is also known that the ball on which one run was scored was neither the first nor the last. Neither the first nor the last means now one run will be here and now here will be 0 runs. Here will be 0 runs. Alright everybody. Fine. And now 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13 and then 3 to make it a total of 16. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. Okay. Fine everybody. How many runs were scored on the last ball? So on the last ball how many runs were scored? Th uh, 3 runs. So therefore the correct answer, the valid answer is option number A that is 3. Getting it everybody? Yes or no? moving ahead moving ahead so this is how we will approach the question see i will request everybody please like and share the session it's extremely important guys quickly everyone now the next one solve this one the third question the third question guys quickly Now, in this particular question, this is a beautiful one. 
this is one of the best ones of today i will be giving you 2 minute take 2 minute but try to solve this Okay, I am giving you one more minute, I am giving you one more minute, okay, try this one. Now this is, as I said, one of the beautiful questions and one of the best questions of today's class, okay. Now see, <clears throat> see over here guys, what is being said over here? Two minutes was required, it has been given to you, the time is almost over. Now see, five cars, C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5 they participated in a car rally. They traveled from city T1 to T2 and then to T3 without any halt in city T2. It is also known that, <coughs> it is also known that car 4 was the last car to leave T1. Car 4, it is also known that car 4 was the last car to leave T1, first car to arrive in T2 and second car to reach in T3. So it's very, very crucial guys that car 4 was the last car to leave T1, first car to reach T2 and second car to reach T3. Next, no car departed or arrived in any two cities at the same position. Yes, no car either departed or arrived in any two cities at the same position. So for example, Car 4 cannot be at 5th position at any other place. Car 4 cannot be at 1st position or even at 2nd position at any other place. I hope it is sorted. I hope this is clear. Now, my dear students, this. First car to leave city T1. First car to leave city T1 was the 4th car to reach T3 and the last car and the last car to arrive in T2. Fine. Now, C2 was the 3rd car to reach T2. C2 was the third car to reach T2 and the first car, first car to finish the rally. Okay, fine, fine. Now car 5 was the fourth car to leave T1. Car 5 was the fourth car to leave T1. Second car to reach T2. Second car to reach T2. Okay. And third car to arrive in T3. Third car to arrive in T3. All right, everybody. Now, car 1 was neither the first nor the second car. Car 1 was not the first nor the second car to leave T1. Car 1 was not the first nor the second car. Okay. Please understand. Now, this is very crucial. Car 1 was neither the first. Car 1 was neither the first nor the second car to leave T1. Now, see. If car 1 is neither the first nor the this. So, car 1 is over here. If car 1 is over here, then now this place will be by C2 or C3. This place will be car 2 or car 3. But car 2 is already at third position at one place. Okay. See, do, do by this. My dear students, it's very, very simple. Car 2 is already at first position at one of the place. Car 2 is already at first position at one of the place. So, it cannot be at first position at any other place. So, it will be car 2. So, now here, my dear students, it is car 3. This is car 3. Car 3 is left now. So, this X is car 3. Okay. This x is car 3, this is car 3, this is car 3. So here car 1, car 1 is left out guys and this is the complete arrangement. This is the complete arrangement. Okay everybody, getting it everyone? So you can see that which was the second car to leave T1. Second car to leave T1 was C2. Second car to leave T1 was C2, okay. Second car to leave T1 was 
C2 and therefore the correct answer is option number B, C2. Correct answer is option number B, C2. Okay, everybody? Getting it, everyone? Yes or no? Fine. So the crucial part, the most important part of this question was that no two cars departed or arrived in any two cities at the same position. Okay? You can see car 3 is at the first position. Nowhere else it is at the first position. <coughs> you can see car 5 is, the, is at the fourth position. Nowhere else it is at the fourth position. Now the next one. Easier one. Try this. Quickly everyone. Hurry up. Now, if you check this, what are you going to get over here? Very good. Harish, Kailash, Chinmay, hello and welcome. Chinmay, hello and welcome. Okay. Quickly, everyone. Quickly. Now, see what is happening over here. If you check this, if you check this, then four kids, P, Q, R and S, they were distributed a total of P, Q, R and S chocolate. I repeat, four kids P, Q, R and S received a total of P, Q, R and S chocolates. So the sum is eight. The sum is eight as you can check. Also, P plus R is equal to Q plus S. P plus R is equal to Q plus S. And also R is equals to P plus Q. R is equals to P plus Q. So if R is equal to P plus Q, my dear students, it's very, very simple, a bit of hit and trial. R is equal to P plus Q. So now if that is the case, if now that is the case, guys, so R is equal to P plus Q. So one and then this is two and then this is two. So this is P one chocolate, this is two, this is three and this is two. All right. So the sum is eight. The sum is eight. Okay. The sum is 8, then you all are also aware that R is equal to P plus Q and you are also aware that P plus R, P plus R is 4 and Q plus S is 4. So who received the second highest number of chocolates? Highest number of chocolate is received by, is received by R. Second highest number of chocolate is received by Q and S together and the least number of chocolate is received by P. So highest chocolate is received by Q and S and that is the right second highest second highest by Q and S that is what was our second highest number of chocolates getting it everyone yes or no so Chinmay Harish quickly everybody next another easy one simple one please try it Quickly everyone, now you can see this is a simple question of common sense, no theory, no rule, okay, it's a common question. There are 36 plants in a single row, okay. Now see, what is the question trying to convey? There are total how many plants? 36, there are total 36 plants in a single row. After the first rose plant, there is one cactus plant. After the second rose plant, there are two cactus plant. Okay. After the th and so on, it is telling you and so on. That means after the third rose plant, there are three cactus plants. After the fourth rose plant, there are four cactus plants. After the fifth rose plant, there are five cactus plant. After the sixth rose plant, there are six cactus plants. After the seventh rose plant, there are <coughs> seven cactus plant. And now if you just add them, if you just add them, see whether the sum is 36 or not. <coughs> See whether the sum is 36 or not. So here it's 2, here 3, here 4, here 5, here 
6, here 7, here 8. So add them. 8 plus 2, 10. Okay, 7 plus 3, 10. Now it is already exceeding, guys, it's already exceeding the, uh, see, please understand. 8 plus 2, 10. 3 plus 7, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. So 10, 10, 10, 30 and 5, 35. 10, 10 and 10, 30 and 5, 35. And then one more rose plant. One more rose plant. So this will be giving you a total of 36. This will be giving you a total of 36. Alright everybody. So total of 36 plants are there. Including rose and cactus. All of them. But out of those 36 plants. We will subtract the 8 rose plants. We will subtract the 8 rose plants. Which will be giving you 28. Which will be giving you 28. And that's the correct answer. Option number C 28. Alright everyone. Getting it everybody, yes or no? Yes. Are you all getting it? The next question. Time starts. Hurry up. Now, now, if you check this, quickly, everyone, come on. Now, these kind of questions. They are super easy. Okay. There are no rules. No ifs and buts. It's a pure application of mind and common sense. Okay. Now four friends. The names have been given. Four friends. The names have been given. They are born in the same year. But when they were born. They were born in the same year. But in which months. So now. Let us talk about Shipra. Let us talk about Shipra. And it is said. That Shipra. Shipra has her birthday in a month which comes before April. Before April means January or February or March. Swati was born in a month which has 30 days. Swati was born in a month which has 30 days. So it's not January, it's not February, it's not March. It can be April, not May, June, not July or August, September, not October, it's November. Okay. Now, Sukriti is older than Swati. Sukriti is older than Swati. Now, if Sukriti is older than Swati, fine. Just remember this. Just remember this. Shalini was born in a month which starts with the letter J. Shalini was born in a month which starts with letter J. So, it can be January. It can be June. It could be July. Okay. Now, who among the following cannot be the oldest? Who among the following cannot be the oldest? This can be oldest. Okay. So who among the following cannot be the oldest? See, Swati can never be the oldest. Swati can never be the oldest. Okay. Fine. Swati can never be the oldest. I hope I am very clear. Fine, everybody. I hope I am very clear. Swati can never be the oldest. Why Swati can never be the oldest? Because it is clearly said, Shalini was born in a month which starts with letter J. Shalini was born in a month which starts with letter J. Getting it, everybody? Yes or no? Getting it or not? Yes or no, everyone? Okay. Now, moving ahead, guys. Coming to the next question. Okay, okay. Shipra, Swati, Sukriti and all, it is done. Let us move ahead. The seventh question. Again, it's another beautiful question. I will again give you a couple of minutes in this question, okay? Couple of minutes for this question. Try this out. Quickly, everyone. Harish, Chinmay. Come on quickly, guys. Please, everybody, like and share the session. Now, that's really important, guys.
Now see guys, have a look at this. Five candies. You want one more minute? Take one more minute. Take one more minute and then we will be discussing. So I have given you an extra minute just so that you can solve this question, okay. <clears throat> now see the time is up, see my dear students. 5 candies, 5 candies, the names are given, Floromint, Laptop, Pentos, Turgen, Picklayers, they are of different flavors, they are of different flavors, Mint, Orange, Tea, Jasmine and Vanilla, not necessarily in the same order. And they are kept in 3 boxes, Box 1, Box 2 and Box 3, they are kept in 3 boxes, Box 1, Box 2 and Box 3 and each box contains at most, at most 2 candies, at most means maximum, upper limit is 2. So, three box each contained at most two candies. Now, candies and the flavor, candies and the flavor, so on. No candies and flavor, candies and flavor, okay. Now, orange and vanilla flavored candies are kept in B3, okay. Orange and vanilla flavored candies are kept in B3. Picklayers is neither orange nor vanilla flavored. If Picklayers is neither orange nor vanilla flavored, Picklayers is somewhere over here. Pick layers is somewhere over here in box 1 or box 2. Now, Pentos and Turk which are not mint flavored are kept in B1 and B2 respectively. Pentos and Turk. Pentos and Turk which are not mint flavored. So, mint flavored cannot be here. Mint flavored cannot be here. And here since already orange and vanilla flavored candies are there. So, mint flavored cannot be here. So, now who can be mint flavored? It can be pick layers only. It can be pick layers only. Okay, fine. So, which of the following candy is mint flavored? Which of the following candy is mint flavored? The candy which is mint flavored is Picklayers itself. It is Picklayers itself. The correct answer, the valid answer is option number D. Alright, the correct answer, the valid answer is option number D. Alright, everybody? Getting it, everyone? Yes? Yes or no? Okay. So, I hope you all are getting this. There were a, a total of five candies. Out of the five candies, two flavors are here. So, mint cannot be here. Now, it is clearly given these two are not mint. So, only this one, fifth one can be mint flavored, okay? So, that is the correct answer. Then, okay. <coughs> Before we move ahead, guys, have a look at this. Very good, Harish and Chinmay. The Example Official app is the one-stop solution for all the government job aspirants. And now, when I say that, I really mean that. Why? What are the reasons? What are the offerings that we provide you? Number one, we provide you live paid courses with test series. We provide you free subject wise and topic wise quizzes with report card. We provide you free job alert, admit card and exam date. We provide you all exam previous year PDF with solution. We provide you free all india scholarship test with report card we provide you topic wise free live classes we provide you free full length and sectional test with report card we provide you free exam wise pdfs and practice set pdfs we provide you daily weekly and monthly current affairs and then finally my dear students we provide you unlimited subject wise practice questions guys unlimited all right everyone getting it so these are the offerings that we provide to you here particularly i will highlight this one and this one for any student who is preparing for any exam all exam previous year pdf with solution is very very important also unlimited subject wise practice questions 
are very important. These two things, this combo is self-sufficient to help you in a large way, in a bigger manner. All right, now moving ahead. Now moving ahead, <coughs> this one, the next question. Solve this one. Come on guys, the next one. Quickly, everyone. Now, this question does not deserve more than one minute. Yes, I'm honestly speaking. Why? See, Ramesh gave rupee 1, 4, 7, 10, and dot, 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 dot means so on. Dot, dot, dot means so on to his daughter to buy chocolates on the first, second, third, and fourth day, respectively. First, second, third, and fourth day, respectively. Okay. Now, see. You can see an increment of plus 3 over here, 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 okay, plus 3 over here, and then again plus 3 over here. Okay, everybody, you can see plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Now, what is the question telling? If she bought exactly 20 chocolates on the sixth day, on sixth day, the rupees was 16 on six day the rupees was 16 and in 16 rupees the chocolates were how many 20 20 chocolates so that means my dear students if you just divide both places by four if you divide by four what are you going to get in rupees four in rupees four you are going to get five chocolates in rupees four you are going to get five chocolates okay everybody now, since in rupees 4, you are going to get 5 chocolates. So, therefore, on the 10th day, on the 10th day, 10th day means you are going to get how many rupees? 28 on the 10th day. See, it is telling on the 10th day, not cumulatively till 10th day. It is not telling you till 10th day. It is telling you on 10th day. On 10th day, you are going to get rupees 28. So, for 28, you need to multiply it by 7. So that you get rupees 28. So here also you will multiply it by 7. So that you will be getting 35. So on 28 uh, by 28 rupees, 35 chocolates can be purchased. 35 chocolates can be purchased. It's a simple question of unitary method. Very good, Harish. Very good, Chinmay. So these are some of the next level questions. These are new. Okay, and these kind of questions are very much important if you want to crack the SSC CGL exam. Yes, my dear students. Now the next one. Solve this one, the ninth question. Please try this. Please try this. Hurry up. Quickly, everyone. Harish, Chinmay. Now see what is happening over here. Now honestly this question also does not deserves more than one minute. Okay. So now let us straight away begin with the discussion part. Okay. So the days were Monday to Thursday. Okay. The days were Monday to Thursday. And now what is the question trying to say? Each of the four different games, I repeat, each of the four different games were played on different day from Monday 
to Thursday. Hockey and cricket were not played on consecutive days. So hockey and cricket were not played on consecutive days means they are not neighbors. They are not neighbors. Now Ludo was played after hockey but before chess. Ludo was played after hockey. Okay. Ludo was played after hockey. Okay. But before chess. Now just tell me. It is asking which game was played on Tuesday. It is asking which game was played on Tuesday. Now just see. My dear students, hockey and cricket cannot be played together. If hockey and cricket cannot be played together, so certainly if you will place hockey over here. Now if hockey is over here, my dear students, Ludo it will be over here. And then chess and cricket. It could be chess and cricket. Or, see if you place hockey over here, then Ludo has to be over here. And then it could be cricket and chess. It could be cricket and chess. Okay. But you cannot bring hockey downwards. If you will bring hockey downwards, then hockey, Ludo and chess. Hockey, Ludo and chess. So here, cricket can only be there and that is not allowed. Hockey and cricket cannot be together. So these two days, it is not fixed. These two days, it is not fixed. But at least these two are fixed. At least these two are fixed. So on Tuesday will be Ludo. On Tuesday will be Ludo. And I am quite sure many of you play that now also. All right. So Chinmay, Harish, very good. So now the next question. So are you all enjoying these sessions, guys? Are you all enjoying the next one, the 10th question? Please go ahead, try to solve this. One minute. Hurry up. Now, if you see this, you will be getting the details. Okay, 15 more second. Please go ahead. Chinmay, Harish, quickly everyone. Now see, what is happening over here? It is telling you that five lectures of five lectures <coughs> of one hour each from 1 to 6 p.m. in a day are scheduled. Now, L1 and L2 are scheduled just after L3. Now, just after L3, L1 and L2 are scheduled. But the relative orders of L1 and L2 is not known. So, L1 and L2 are scheduled just after L3. And now, L4 is scheduled just after L5. So, L4 is scheduled just after L5. Fine. Now, exactly two lectures were scheduled between L2 and L5. If exactly two lectures are scheduled between L2 and L5, then if you place L5 over here and L4 over here, L1, okay, sorry. Here, L5 and L4 first, then L3, and then we want what? L1 and then L2. L1 and then L2. Or L2 or L1. Okay, so this is the order. Isn't this the order, guys? Please check. Please verify. So if you want to check this, so everything is being satisfied. After L3, we have L2 and L1. And after L5 is L4. And see, we have now two lectures between L2 and L5. We have two lectures. If you do anything other than this, if you write this L3, L2 and L1, then after L5 and L4, two lectures between L2 and L5 is not possible. Two lectures between them is not possible. So this is itself the right one. So which lecture is scheduled from 3 to 4 p.m.? So 3 to 4 p.m. It's the L3. It's the L3. All right, everybody. So it's L3. Answer is option number B. It's L3. Fine, everyone. Getting it, everybody. So I hope all of you are able to understand. Very good, Chinmay and Harish. The next question. Beautiful question. Two minutes for this. So wherever it's a slightly better question, I'm, I will not hesitate to give you more time. Okay.
Now see what is happening. See what is happening over here. You want one more minute? I can give that easily. But please try and try hard. Quickly everyone. Now what is happening over here? See, each of the five students A, B, C, D, E, they appeared for at least one among the five MBA entrance test. At least one among them appeared for each of the test. B has appeared only for mat and cat. B has appeared only for mat and cat. Only for mat and cat means no other test it has appeared. Now D did not appear. D did not appear for ATM and Z. D did not appear for ATM and Z. Okay, fine. D did not appear for ATM and Z. Now, A did not appear for Z and CMAT. A did not appear for Z and CMAT. Okay. B and A did not appear for any common test. B and A do not appear for any common test. So, if B has appeared in these two tests, A cannot appear in these two tests. Now, by default, A will have to appear in ATMA because at least one, see, each one of them at least attempts one test, it is clearly given that each of the five students A, B, C, D, E appeared for at least one among the five MBA entrance tests. So, each student has appeared in at least one of the test. Okay. Now, the next thing, B and A did not appear for any common test and the same is true for A and D. E. Same is true for A and D. E. So, if same is true for A and D, e, if A appears over here, E cannot appear over here. Okay. And now, each student has appeared for a different number of tests. So, there are five tests. There are five tests. There are five tests. And each of the students has appeared for different number of tests. So, what is the common sense saying? One will appear for one test, one for two, one for three, one for four and one for five tests. So, this candidate, this A appears for one test. This A appears for one test. B appears for two tests. Okay. C appears for all the five because five. Now here, it will appear for three tests and this will appear for four tests. And now, how many students appeared for the CAT, one of the most prestigious exam? For CAT, it's one, two, three and four. It's one, two, three and four. It's four. I hope it is very clear. Fine, everybody, it's four. Getting it? My name, Chinmay, my name is Ankit Sharma. Okay, Chinmay, my name is Ankit Sharma and if you want, <coughs> to discuss anything or to tell anything, you can do it openly right now or even in the comment box. Another beautiful question for which I am ready to give you a couple of minutes, two minutes for this. Quickly guys, try this. Quickly everyone. Two minutes. One more minute I am providing to you. Quickly everyone. <coughs> Please try this. Chinmay, Harish, come on quickly everybody.
Now see what is happening. See, four friends, names I have written, they have different cars and the cars of the colors are also different. Now, I-20 is either a red or a green colored car. So I-20, I-20 is either a red or a green colored car. Next, Kishan owns either reds or gets. Kishan owns either reds or gets. Next, Gopal owns I-10. Gopal owns I-10. Okay. Gopal owns I-10 and Vishnu owns a yellow colored car. Vishnu owns a yellow colored car. So both the diagrams are same except one difference where it was that Kishan owns either reds or gets. So I have taken the two cases. Now my dear students, very very important. Now just tell me. <coughs> now in this case, I-20 is either red or green colored. Now since I-20 is either red or green colored, I-20 will be here only. And in this case, I-20 will be here only. Now one more car is left. Now here in this case, gets will be here. And in this case, reds will be here. Okay, now it is also telling you in a very clear way that neither I-10 nor gets is a blue colored car. Neither I-10 nor gets is a blue colored car. So if neither I-10 nor gets is a blue colored car, blue colored car will be over here. Here, neither I-10 nor gets is a blue colored car. Neither I-10 nor gets is a blue colored car. So that means blue colored car will be here. Now just tell me, I-20 is either red or green colored. I-20 is either red or green colored. Now that's not available over here. That's not possible. Okay. Now I-20 is either red or green. If I-20 is either red or green, so here blue will be here only. Okay. And now this will be red. Then this will be green. Or if this will be red, this will be green. I hope it is very clear. Fine, everybody. So this is the correct diagram. This is the correct diagram. And now which of the following combination is correct? Which of the following combination is correct? So Vikramaditya, very good. Vikramaditya, very good. See, Kishan reads and blue. Kishan reads and blue is absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Vishnu reads and yellow. No, not correct. Madhav I-20 and red is may or may not be true. May or may not be true because it can be green also. So this is not definitely true. This is not definitely true. It is possibly true. And Gopal I-10 in green or red is possibly true. Gopal I-10 in green is possibly true. It's not definitely true. Definitely true is Kishan reds and blue. It's Kishan reds and blue. It's absolutely true. 100% true. All right, everybody. Next. Solve this one. Quickly, everybody. Quickly, one minute is more than sufficient. Come on guys, if you, all, if you all are enjoying these sessions, please like and share the session. It's extremely important guys. It's extremely important. <laughs> See all those who are live, I will request them to please like and share the session. Please like and share the session guys. It's very, very crucial. It's very, very important. Okay. Now see, my dear students, please have a look at this. Five professionals are standing in a voting queue. Five professionals are standing in a voting queue. One behind the other. There are two persons between professionals. Uh, okay. There are two persons between professor and doctor. So between professor and doctor, there are two professionals. The journalist is standing just behind the doctor. So just behind the doctor is the journalist is the journalist okay the banker and the photographer are not standing next to each other okay the banker and photographer are not standing next to each other okay now just tell me guys just tell me doctor and journalists see if doctor is over here and just below doctor is journalist either this take this as two cases doctor and journalist. It's just for your proper understanding. Now, doctors and journalists we have taken. Now, you all are also aware 
that professor and doctor between them there are two persons so doctor now here one two and now here professor professor or here okay everyone okay one two three four okay and now uh, between professor and doctor two persons so doctor after doctor it will be one two and then here will be professor okay here will be professor between doctor and professors there are two persons now banker and photographer are not neighbors if banker and photographer are not neighbors it is not possible <coughs> see bankers and photographers my dear students is it true is it true guys see it is telling you banker and photographer are not neighbors so here banker and photographer is fine banker and photographer is fine but here can you place that can you place banker and photographer see please understand the correct answer will be here cannot be determined there will be a doubt there will be a doubt that here photographer or bank there is a doubt over here guys it's not true okay cannot be determined all right everyone so are you getting why it's cannot be determined there can be more than one cases why more than one cases see one case can be here that professor doctor sorry professor then here doctor and journalist and now this is professor this is doctor and this is journalist and then banker and photographer my dear students banker and photographer can be here or it could be doctor and journalists it could be doctor and journalist then professor and then my dear students banker and photographer banker and photographer okay so whenever there will be more than one case whenever there will be more than one case the answer will be cannot be determined all right everybody so now i hope it is very clear guys i hope it is very clear see so five professionals were standing in a voting queue what queue means a line okay one behind the other there are two persons between professor and doctor now see there are two persons between professor and doctor so here you can see that between professor and doctor there are two persons here between professor and doctor there are not two persons so okay forget even this case forget even this case it's not a concern it's not a concern see here between professor and doctor there are two persons so two persons are standing between professors and doctors then the journalist is standing just behind the doctor fine and then my dear students the banker and photographer are not next so banker and photographer there is a doubt now that who will be voting first so that is a case of concern and that is why the answer is cannot be determined forget this case leave this see here all right so with this we come to an end of the session and yes now please have a look at this guys this will be your homework question okay this will be your homework question you will solve this and you will answer it at the comment box you will solve this guys and you will answer it at the comment box and then have a look at this we have launched the safalta batch the safalta batch is having 450 plus hours of live classes foundation classes class pdfs are in bilingual okay then daily practice paper mock test series sectional subjects and previous papers are also there the offering is 2800 means it's 2800 but if you use the code ssc50 you will be getting the same at 1399 which you can say 1400 okay so get 50 percent discount by using the code ssc50 then have a look at your faculty member guys who will be teaching in this paid batch sanjay sir will be taking care of maths portion me that is ankit sharma the reasoning portion juhi ma'am english portion deepmani sir science sashank sir ga then milan sir will be taking care of your geography and current affairs and devan sir will be taking care of your economics and static gk have a look at the demo session which is scheduled from tomorrow from tomorrow we are going to start a demo session okay the actual class will start from 28th and the validity of the course will be one year now what will be the schedule of classes tomorrow so the schedule of classes tomorrow you can see the classes will start early morning at 8 to 10 a.m with current affairs then 10 it will be shashank sir's class then 3 to 4 it will be shashanjay sir's class 4 to 5 Ankmeed, my reasoning class and so on okay so please be a part of these regular sessions and for any issue you can call or whatsapp at these numbers respectively thank you everybody have a great day ahead thank you so much